That's 42. That's Jen for one point. Well done, Jen. There's 53 going by. Zoe Roberts. 52. Ellen Pats. Good job, Ellen. There's Carolyn Thumbay. Well done, Carolyn. There's Jeff Smith going through down in his Carol Mars today. There's Charlie Duffy. If you didn't know, his daughter's Clark. Good job, Charlie.
Number 60. Oh, first of all, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you, you come out of the water, bit of a spill. How much that, of that played into the psyche of looking to catch young um, Pilgrim? Yeah, young Pilgrim, he's fired on all cylinders. His talent, I think he'd raced earlier in the day, in fact. So, I mean, bless him. He's, uh, he's a real talent. He's coming on so strong. And for the old guy's cab, it's just one for us, I think. And uh, But all the encouragement to the, the juniors, uh, as well as uh, Ian in particular, so that's good. On the start line, none other than world champion Flora Duffy oh. for the swim. What goes through your mind? Because your reality sets in that I'm next to a world champion starting a race in Bermuda. Yeah, all the admiration for Flora. We've watched every race on the ITU feed, of course, here in Bermuda and cheering for her. And to be on the start line and just to have her here the week after she wins it in Rotterdam is quite, quite special. And uh, just, uh, yeah, just a real shout out to Tokyo, really, as a, as a premium sponsor for her and for triathlon in Bermuda. It's, it's really wonderful to see her, so thank you, Flora, for coming and, you know, setting us off in the right direction. Now, on the bike, you you got to try and make up time because you're, you're a bit behind. Yep. When did you feel as if, okay, I can, I can get Nick, I can, I can get in the lead and, and come through the finish line and take one of your first titles here in Bermuda? Uh, very first title, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so firstly, it just uh, swim come out. I you know where you are, sort of with the people that you train with, uh, and this great community here are all pretty tight. And so really on on the on the bike, it's not a question of trying to pick people off, but trying to just execute what you're capable of, and not going out uh, too early, too quickly, uh, and then so slowly building as you sort of settle into your pace. I was uh, fortunate enough to do the long distance race in Penticton a few weeks ago with a Bermuda contingent that went there, so not really trained for this type of uh, fast and furious. Uh, pace but uh, certainly and then when you get on the run there's a little bit of confusion because you're not quite sure who's doing it as a team and not, you know who's doing it as an individual and so certainly you start looking forward and there's not many but then once you get into the second and third lap there's just a whole bunch of people around and it just falls where it falls so you, you just kind of uh, come in and take a bow so yeah it was, it was a really special day thanks all right well congratulations and now because this is the first one for the year you're the man to be <laughs> that's a little daunting we'll see what we do uh, thank you very much well, Karen, congratulations, but three <laughs> tough events in three weeks. Yeah. How do you feel at the end of it? Oh, I'm relieved that it's uh, finished now. There's no, <laughs> no more events on the, on the near horizon anyway, so, yeah. Well, you started off with an, an Ironman, 70.3 uh, 70, 70. 70. Yeah. Ironman. Yeah. Then you do a sprint triathlon, yes. and now you're doing this today. Another sprint triathlon. Another sprint. Yeah. When, you, when you look back... Um, all the work that you've put in, do you feel as if just reward is today? No, I think it's it's been, the reward is the process. It's not it's not the outcome of any one particular race, but it's the process of getting fitter and getting stronger and getting back to where I want to be. So it's not one particular race that defines anybody as, as to who they are, what they do. It's just, a, it's a process for me. Now you get on the start line today, interesting race, and you set out, and, and it's kind of difficult to, to, to work out because you don't know when you come out of the water, who's in front, who's behind, yeah. but on the bike you sort of take an assess of the situation. When did you feel comfortable enough to say, you know what, let's keep this pace, let's just stay on the bike, and then execute the run? 
I never, you, this is a tricky course because with five laps, you don't really know who's on what lap or if you're passing someone or behind someone or where you are. But I kind of just get into my zone and just try to work at my effort level as opposed to let, let external influences, influences figure out how hard I need to work. I just kind of go within and figure out from my effort level what I need to do. Well, you had an opportunity to compete on the same course as Flora and as Tyler uh, last week. Um, and he actually raced yesterday, but a sense of what it was like, what the atmosphere was like in Rotterdam for you, first experience in their race, and then the next day you, you won the course. <laughs> it was amazing. It was really exciting. First, uh, Erica's group went off in the afternoon, and it was just sort of set the scene of what was to come. Um, she, had a, she, she had a great race. I thought she did brilliantly. And, uh, you know, you, you're at the world competition, so you got the best of the best, and you've got to qualify to get there. So tough competition that's there all around um, and then we watched uh, Tyler's race was in the cold nine degrees Celsius pouring rain eight o'clock in the morning so only the real die-hard fans are out for that one and maybe a few <laughs> and parents and coaches but uh, the finish line was still pretty electric and it was just so exciting to watch him I you know I think I probably had you know more of a heart rate spike for his race than my own because just watching him you know on the corners the cobblestones 18 turns per per lap, four laps, it was just like nail biting. It was so exciting. Um, and there was a big chase pack behind his group only 30 seconds back. So he knew he had to have a race of his life to, to do as well as he did. So he was pretty excited and he appreciated all the, the comments and, and congratulations from Bermuda for him. Now, did that make you want to also kind of do well? Because you, you <laughs> the tune was set, as you said, by Erica, and then you see Flora and, and yeah, yeah. Tyler. Does that set the tune for, for yourself? Well, then we had to watch Tyler, or Flora's race, and, and of course, like that is just electrifying too, and it's just packed with people, and we're running back and forth to different spots of the run course with the flags, and just cheering her on, and she was a machine. She just, like, she, it's almost like robotical with her. She just moves, and she doesn't break stride, and she doesn't look like she's hurting ever. She's just phenomenal. So, of course, you've got three days of racing, and then you come to your own race, and it's, I'm exhausted just watching, so... Um, but yeah, my race was, it was decent, it was a draft legal race, but I didn't have anyone to work with, so it was kind of a solo effort for me, but, you know, I worked as hard as I could, and I was really pleased with the run that I did afterwards, because um, that's what I've been really focusing on, given the injury, so I, you know, I'm pretty pleased with how the season went. Well, it's all over, congratulations, <laughs> so time to get some rest. Yeah, absolutely, I think I'm calling it a, a off-season right now, and might go have some, <laughs> some beverages that I n normally have at this time of the year, so... All right, well, congratulations again. Thank you, Earl. First of all, congratulations, two-time world champion, ITU women's. Take us through the six races, or seven races that you had this year, and obviously leading up to Rotterdam, a lot of attention on you, um, trying to do something no other woman has been able to do, and that's been six races on one tour. Yeah, so it was a pretty um, big year, especially coming off of last year. Um, the year started in, where was it, Yokohama, Japan? Um, which was actually quite tricky for me because I was coming back from an injury, a pretty big injury, so I didn't really know what sort of form I would have. Um, yeah, the, work, the race worked out well and I ended up winning there and then went on to Leeds, then to Hamburg, then to Edmonton, then to Montreal, then to Stockholm, then to Rotterdam. Um, and yeah, of course, going into the grand final, it was big pressure and expectation and a lot of, yeah, um, people looking at me because of the year I'd had. And so, yeah, it was very special to race that way and to win the grand final and then to win the overall. Now, to, to handle that pressure, um, some would say um, it's a great job, but how do you, how do you channel that? Because when, when one's number one in the world and everyone's gunning for them, um, it, it becomes a lot of pressure on the individual to make sure that they stay focused, stay calm, keep things under control. How did you manage? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of pressure. I mean, not just from people watching you, but of course, sponsors. They invest in you a lot and want you to perform. And um, so, yeah, for me, it's it's something I've had to learn to deal with and manage. And um, I think I'm slowly getting there with it. Um, but yeah, it, it is difficult, but it's part of being a professional athlete. So if you can't manage that, then, I mean, yeah, you need to get a different job. <laughs> How much fun was it out here today? I know you only done the swim, but you got to see a lot of people that have watched you grow, watched you develop, but to be a part of the Tokyo Triathlon today must have been special for you. Yeah, it's really great to be here. I mean, Tokyo is a sponsor of mine, so it's really great that I could be here supporting their triathlon. Um, and of course, you know, I grew up 
doing triathlons here, so it's pretty neat to come back, um, you know, when I race full time, and then of course to see all the kids here and. Um, yeah, they, you know, they all come running up to me and want me to sign something or take a photo with me and that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's like you forget about all that sort of stuff, you know, when you're racing, you're trying to race and you want to win and perform your best and you forget that all of this other stuff comes along with it and it's, yeah, it's pretty neat to come back and see everyone's reaction and yeah, I'm really just very thankful for, you know, the warm welcome that I've received from many Bermudians. Um, yeah, so thank you and I'm really excited to race here in April. How many little flowers do you see in these eyes around just today? Yeah, there's a lot of them here today. Um, all in their little mini tri suits and um, whatever. And yeah, they're like, yeah, we watch all of your races. We want to be like you. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty special. And um, yeah, I just hope to inspire some kids and not just in triathlon, but in sport here in Bermuda in general. So it's it's cool to see it firsthand. Taking a look at April, how excited is it that now you'll be on your home turf uh, bringing the world with you because now they want to come to see what you what your base was get a chance to see how you got started where you got started and follow those footsteps how exciting is it for you that you will be the person that everybody be looking at in Bermuda yeah it's going to be really exciting racing here um, that's probably going to be my highest pressure race of the year <laughs> um, yeah and it, it's it's really really cool um, you know I grew up watching the ITU World Cup that we had here in the 90s and that really inspired me to be a professional triathlete. It was the first time I saw like, oh wow, you can actually do this. So I mean, I hope, you know, I'm going to come back as professional as a world champion and I hope many Bermudians come out to watch and yeah, I'm excited just to showcase the island to everyone that I compete with on the world circuit and I think, yeah, everyone's going to love it here. It's such a fantastic island and a great course. So yeah, it'll be a good event. Well, I want to say on behalf of Bermuda, congratulations, job well done, keep up the great work. Yeah, thank you very much.